Is that who the hell at the door? Somebody at the door? Uh, yeah, it's ten o'clock. All right. Now, you you go. go. You go to the door. I gotta keep talking to them. Somebody's at the door. Somebody's at the door. That's another one of those gadgets that Kesey has, the ring doorbell. Somebody's at the door. I'm going to stay right here, y'all. If something happened, I ain't got time to run upstairs and get the the buck shots. Who, who is it, babe? Okay. Somebody playing games at the door. It's probably motion detectors. Kesey has this our house like Fort Knox. Like, we don't live in the country. Don't nobody want nothing out here. But anyway, so other things that I think are important, like I said, is having those goals and having the talks. And Kesey is completely uh, resistant to have the talks. But I guess I try to come at him and not be all complainy and whiny. And, you know, it has to be a real calm and relaxed type of discussion for him or else he is um, sits on the floor and acts a fool. So we try to do that, do that a bit better. We try to do it often, too. We only do it maybe... We do at least once a month where we sit down and he can look at the bills. We see where we are with our spending. We also have this goal that we're working on this year to pay off um, a certain amount of debt. And we paid off one car per month over the last four or five months. And it's been working out just fine. And that works for us. Yeah. I mean, because the less debt you have, the more you have to invest and the more you have to spend and the more you have to, you know what I'm saying, save. And that should be the goal at the end of the day. Yep. Shout out to Miss Sluggo, Miss Poochie up in here. That's cousin. Hey, cousin. Up in here. Uh, the other Miss Ingram. That's right. Rail Scott says, three things I need to know before I get married. Your HIV results, your credit report, and your job history. Okay. <laughs> I ain't mad at that, Rail. That's, not at none of them. I'm really not mad at any of them. That's right. And, uh... But ladies, that's how you know, single ladies, that's how you know if a man really is interested in, in, in making a long, long-term commitment to you if he asks you about those things, I think. Because don't be asking me about that stuff if your intentions aren't that we are to, you know, to be together in this partnership. Don't ask me about my credit if we just hooking up. That's just stupid. That ain't right. none of your business. Right. And, and Matt Pharrell, he's the one, he comes in here. I mean, I got to get him on the show. And he says, black people need to lose the mentality of being strictly consumers and let that resonate in your head. That's true. That's what I talked about, about the, why there's such a big wealth, wealth gap between other et- ethnic groups and African-Americans. And then we go back to supporting each other and supporting our own. And, you know, Asians, they all live in a house with seven of them until they all get on their feet. The Spanish do the same thing. And, you know, as African-Americans, I don't think we do that as much. I mean, we don't really do that. I can barely live with my sister or she can barely spend a night up here for two days. Imagine living with her forever for like months a time. We probably couldn't do it. Wow. I think we just wouldn't want to do it. But other ethnicities do it all the time where they help each other get on their feet. They help each other start businesses. And then they help the next person start the business. They all work together. I see this all the time with the Koreans, too. Right. So a bunch of different ethnic groups do that. And I think as African-Americans, we need to do that a bit more. I think outside the box and defer, diversify some of your investments and your savings. Yeah. Get help when you can. If you know somebody who's doing well, you have to ask the questions. And we should all be open to sharing the knowledge. You, you know, you, when you know better, you do better. And if you don't know, ask somebody. It's right. got to be somebody. It should be other people in your circle who are... You shouldn't be the smartest person in your circle. That's what right. I'm trying to say. You should surround yourself with like-minded people, but also people that you can learn from and help you grow. All right, now, control. Oh. What I mean by that is budget. Mm. So, we spoke about, because that also ties into the consumer thing. Mm-hmm. So, I got into this little thing, like I said, you, we talked about it earlier, where I saw all these spectacular deals on Joseph A. Bank and Men's Warehouse. I mean, clearance sales. You're getting coats for a low. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm up to five, but you put a stern warning. If you bring home another one of these damn sports jackets, we're going to have an issue. But I also said you look very good in every last one of them that you wore, did I not? You did. You look exceptionally well, tasty. But but, but why do we need that control in place? What do you mean? Because we have goals. I mean, I'm, t- I'm talking to we, you. Because we have goals. I mean, and that's the thing. If we have financial goals and savings goals and things that we're trying to do and vacations we're trying to take and... Going to away games for the Falcons, and nobody better not say a month of thing in this chat room about the Falcons. But if we're going to do all those things, then there's a cost to that, and we have to prepare ourselves to be able to pay that cost. That's correct. That's, so that's why no more sports coats. There you go. But there's some people who have relationships, and that's another issue right there, right off the bat. 
You said that. What? I listen. No sports coats. I listen. I always listen for the most part. Sometimes I might stray once or twice. But for the most part, I, li- I listen because I know it has a meaning that has a purpose because we have a goal. But there's some people whose mm-hmm. financial, their partnership is to the point where I'm going to do, I make this amount of money, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Or I make more money. I make the most money in this house. So say as a man and say, I bring home this money. The wife has supplemental income. He's like, she can't tell me what to do. I'm going to go buy these damn rims. I want these rims on my car. <laughs> <laughs> I want these rims on my car. I want them to be spinning. I want to have these 22s with the, the, the chrome blades on them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, or I want to have this, you know, stereo system in it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, that happens a lot of the times where a, a, a person feels like the, the, the main, quote, unquote, bread when it feels like mm-hmm. nobody can tell them something. You know what I mean? That happens. Well, so that's, oh. And that's a problem because that, that means that, like, if you think about what the true the true definition of being a partnership, a relationship, a marriage, whatever, you become one. And if you want the oneness, there is no, there is no, you, I do this and I do that. It's, it's a we. It's a, it's, it's a teamwork. It's, it's we. And if that's not the mindset of both of the parties, then yeah, it's a problem. Absolutely, it's a problem if we're not on the same page. Shit, we ain't even in the same book if you're talking about going buying some rims tomorrow. And that would be a problem. Would you be Yeah, mad? you make the most money, but you don't know how to spend it. So, yeah, I'd be mad. But, but I'd be riding that's nicely. A, that's, a serious, that's a silly question. You already knew the answer to that question. But I'd be riding nicely, though. No, not in that old-ass truck you got. You would not be riding <laughs> like you look crazy. Why well, can't tell people, man? They might think I ride around in the damn... Uh, Porsche Cayenne You're or something, not. man. He's I mean, not. You telling me I got an old He's ass not. truck, man? Why he does. He what? has an old ass truck. Nobody knew what I drove until this. I didn't truck. say what kind of old ass truck. I just said you have an old truck. Like Sam and the Sun? Damn near. See what I'm saying? She gonna make fire shot. I ain't got no damn truck at all. <laughs> Mark me down for a cuss word. My truck ain't that damn old. Okay, babe. I have a Toyota and it's paid and it's for. It's, it's, paid for. it's paid for. And it's reliable. And reliable. And one of the things that Kesey is hell bent on in this house is one car payment at a time. <laughs> one car payment at a time. It's against his religion to do anything other. I don't want to have two car payments at the same time. That's just how Mo, we roll. He does She said something that was super dope. And he said he don't even get into a car if he can't pay for it up front. That, that, if that's what he does, then that's great. Then I he need to come to the dealership with you when it's time for me to get my bins. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> right the check. Hey, welcome Rough Buff up in this piece. Hey, Rough Buff. Up here talking shit. He could walk in the door talking shit. Of course. That's right. It wouldn't all, be him if he did. That's right. All the time. That's right, Melvin. He says it's a classic. That's right. I got a classic, brother. That's right. Ride it until the wheels fall off. Like Rare said, ride the truck till the wheels fall off. <laughs> that is what we going to do. That's fine. So, if you're going to ride it till the, till the wheels fall off, why not instead of a nice set of rims to go on? Babe, what you knocking off of these rims? I'm just saying. You ain't getting Tax no time rims. coming. What they got to do with you? You got to pay taxes. You don't get what are you talking about? Rent a wheel. They got rent a wheel. <laughs> I wish rent you a would. Rim. Rent a rim down there I wish you on would. Riverside. I wish you would. I wish you would. You're going to be sleeping in that damn old truck with them rims, too. Another cuss word. Anyway. I mean, for real. You wouldn't do that. No. And you're not either. But what if I did? What kind of problem would we have in our marriage? If I said, I'm going to get these damn rims, I'm going to get these rims. And I show up here tomorrow, and my shit's spinning, and I, I get out of the truck. <laughs> well, that's old. I ain't spinning. But they gleaming. Okay. Chrome. And I get out. And I look at it, and I said, "Damn, these joints shine." I'm like, "Baby, baby, and you in here cooking? You frying chicken or something?" And I'm like, "Baby, you had to be the most stereotypical type of scenarios ever for us to be." Anyway, go ahead. And I said, "Hey, come and check what I chicken. got." And you come out there to out the garage. Answer your own question. What you think gonna happen? <laughs> what you gonna say? What you think gonna happen? Answer your own question. <laughs> I think you gotta walk away. No, first you're gonna say something really explicit. Absolutely. Like, wow. Would you buy those? All right. And take them back, right? Yeah. And then you're going to stomp back in the kitchen. I have to control myself. I have to control myself because I'd be wanting to just. And you're going to stomp back in the kitchen. Yes. And then when I come back in, I'm going to get an earful. Mm-hmm. Some more, more cuss words, yeah. more explicitives. Yeah. But, all right, that's the type of wife you are. There's a mild mannered wife who ain't going to say too. nothing. I'm her too. I'm her too. But she's just going to be. I'm mild mannered sometimes. 
And he gonna be like, woman, sit your ass down, boy. These goddamn women, sit your ass down and get back up in that house right now. Don't say nothing to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why are you laughing? What kind of shows you be watching? <laughs> Why is it a show? That doesn't even sound right what you're saying. Nobody even talks to people like that no more. What do you mean? Somebody in here, somebody in this chat room talk to their wife like that. Somebody in this room, they act like they ain't, but they in here. <laughs> well, as long as it ain't you, you, it's not you, you don't talk to your there wife you go. like I that. I don't, I don't. Somebody in here, hey, y'all need to go to intervention if you are. But you like, yo, I'm serious. You, I bought this room. You ain't got shit to do with it. Luca no. Kane said, I bought home a convertible BMW. Lisa said, take it back. That's right. Take that shit back. Another That's mark. exactly what I'd say. Hey, what's your count, Big L? Because she's at about 11 cuss words now. She's really... Stop telling him to count them because he really probably knows the numbers. That don't even make sense. <laughs> you always count. You got bets. And so we got side bets on your cuss words. You know that. So anyway, what's up, Uncle Mike? Who ain't really my Uncle Mike? Uncle Mike look a trip in his picture, don't he? Uncle Mike wrong. Man. Uncle Mike look like a girl. Uncle Mike got some titties up there. Anyway, Uncle Mike tripping. That is not Uncle Mike. That ain't our Uncle Mike. That's another Uncle Mike, man. That's oh. another Uncle Mike from the, from the chat room, Oh, babe. okay. I thought yeah. it was my Uncle Mike. I thought it was our Uncle Mike. Now your Uncle Mike gonna come in looking like that. I don't know. And if he did, I mean, he might come in. I mean, like I don't you know. know. He a man, right? Is that what you say? Like, we ain't got no control over our, our senses anyway. Mm. You ain't got trouble over the lower head. You right. And, and, and you know what? what? Companies capitalize out on that. Capitalize so, on what? So, Pornhub. I of saw course, you would, you would know no, about No, I saw that. an ad popped up. Of course, you would know about No, that. somebody po- sent it to me. Maybe that's what he spent his $25 on. Valentine's on. Day had free premium access yesterday. So, mm-hmm. they know men. <laughs> they had free premium access yesterday. They gave us Marketing free. Marketing straight to Kesey. That's what his $25 they didn't to me. I don't do that. I'm, this Thursday night. This is a good Bible study night. Word, the uh, School of the Word is the night. Man, you're right here every Thursday night doing this. You're right, but if I was, I'm saying I might be there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So why are you gonna say? I'm just saying why? Why would I have to be a porn hub uh, person? I wouldn't do that. That's crazy. I got all of this here. If you don't hurry up, I'm anyway. <laughs> anyway, look at some crazy as I get out, man. Crazy is a Bessie bug. That's a Mississippi statement. If y'all don't know what a <laughs> Bessie is bug is, a Bessie bug. bug. Um. So, when it comes down, they are tripping on Uncle Mike. When it comes down <laughs> to, like I said, control and communication is you got to be on, what's it called? You got to be equally yoked. That's equally the word. Yoked. Equally yoked. That's the, I'm going biblical with you on that. You got to be equally yoked. <laughs> you see? Right. See, they are you got to be equally yoked. So, if I said, I'm going to do what I'm going to do with my money, and you said, I'm going to do what I'm going to do with your, with, with your if you're going to do what you're going to do with your money. Right. Then it ain't gonna work. Shit is just going to fall by the wayside. Exactly, we'll be homeless. And you got to believe that a lot of that's going on. I don't know if that's true. I think ninety percent of I don't relationships know if that's true. I think, in, in divorce. But I don't think it's because people are just doing what they want to do. I think that people are just not being creative with what they got, and they're not using what they got like they, they should be. Like I think, I think uh, who said this? I think Kane said this. People are living above their means. Okay. So it ain't, it's not just like we have all these big grand ideas and things that we want to do. And we have our goal list for the year. Hopefully we do 100% of the goals. But if we only did, do 75% of the goals, we're still winning because we still we're saving. We still paying off debt. Da, 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 da. But some people don't have those goals. And sometimes people just want things and they don't have a, a, a plan to get there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even think it's just doing what you want to do. I think it's because they don't have any idea how to get there. That's what I think. People don't know how to get there. The number is 404 The phone line is open if you want to call in. We are open. If you have a discussion, a thought on this, and of why this is occurring, we are open. To or if you them. disagree with anything that we've said. Because we ain't 100%. It ain't. It ain't we're not right. the authority on it, but not we're telling you what works for us. Right. It might not work for somebody else. Somebody else might have a dominant dude that says, get your ass over here, and has a wife that says, okay, and that works for them. I really think that's what you want in your mind. No, because I don't. Because you keep talking about that. I don't, like, you just I don't want to be dominant and you just want to tell me what to do and cuss no. me out and stuff like no, that. Is no, that no, what no. you really want, KC? No, because... Good, because you got the wrong one. There you go. Because think about it. There's a 
a lot of men have qualities like they 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 woman is kind of like their mama. You know what I'm saying? It's very similar qualities. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. very weird.